I uh, want to go back, uh, Mr. Blinken, to the president's news conference this morning because he was responding to a story that has absolutely exploded over the last 24 hours. The owner of the Los Angeles Clippers, Donald Sterling, was caught on audio tape telling his girlfriend not to pose for pictures with black people and not to then bring them to basketball games. This obviously has outraged civil rights leaders. The NBA has launched an investigation. And here's how the president responded to those remarks. You know, once people, uh, when, when ignorant folks want to advertise their ignorance, you don't really have to do anything. You just let them talk. And, and that's, that's what happened here. Well, we'll obviously be hearing a lot more about this story as it develops. We want to go now to the top Republican on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Tennessee's Bob Corker. He is in Cottonwood, Arizona this morning. And, Senator, you told me just a moment ago that you had not yet even heard about this uh, development out there. But do you have any thoughts uh, on this remark by this uh, basketball owner? Uh, it's just outrageous uh, in 2014 that comments like these are being made. So uh, I thought the president's response uh, was appropriate and uh, I don't know what else to add to it. It's, uh, it's beyond belief. We want to go now to Senator Claire McCaskill, Democrat, of course. She's in the Lake of the Ozarks this morning. We want to talk to you, Senator, about uh, a variety of things, including this new uh, survey that you're launching to try to find out about uh, uh, sexual assaults on college campuses. But I have to ask you about this thing that's blown up overnight about the uh, owner of the, uh, of the Los Angeles Clippers basketball team. Uh, is there anything that can be done about that to beyond what the National Basketball Association could do? Well, in our country, we have a First Amendment which allows ignorant racists uh, to say whatever they want to say. Um, however, I hope the NBA uh, takes swift action against this man. I can't imagine how it must feel to be one of the African Americans playing on his team, uh, how they must feel today. Um, knowing that the owner of the team is obviously such an ignorant racist.